Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I have a lot on my mind. I have a bit of a dilemma. It's causing some confusion and I've been talking a lot about this trade deal and I'm not entirely sure. Most of the time these things are pretty cut and dry. I have an idea of what I want and what I'm willing to give up for. It. In this case, it really has me puzzled. So I decided to take it to the interwebs to you guys. Very intelligent group here on TFG. The followers here are great. I learn a lot. So I want to take it to you guys and ask, what would you do? For the longest time, I've wanted the CZTS2 in 9mm. It is a phenomenal gun, single action only. And I have the CZ Shadow 2. And I really wanted this for the longest time. I traded for it about three years ago. I've enjoyed the heck out of it. But back then, maybe it was a little bit longer, but I could care less about optics on handguns. Not only did I care less, but I could say I don't want optics on handguns because I don't want to pay the additional fee and worry about mounting and sighting in and everything else. I don't need that. I only want iron sights. And so the Shadow 2, perfect. Loved it. Continue to love it. Great handgun. But then I caught the bug. And then I said, you know what? I now love optics on handguns because I realize the advantages of looking at one dot opposed to rear sights and front sights. I like the idea of quick and easy transitioning, shooting more accurately when moving. All these are advantages with red dots. Do I need them? No. I now have several handguns with red dots, several without. I love them all. But if I can get the Shadow 2 in a, or with a plate and put a dot on there, I'd be all set. But now I'd have to get the slide melt. That's going to be around $400 with a plate included. Okay, fine. I'm looking at an additional $400 plus the cost of the optic. I could do that with this right here. Or I could make a trade with my buddy. I was talking to a friend of mine, a very close friend, by the way. And he said, hey, I've got the CZTS2 Orange. Now, if you recall back three, four years ago, the TS2 Orange was about $1,600. That was back when the Shadow 2 was... $1,200. It raised to $1,300. Now the Shadow 2 is down to $1,100. The TS2 orange went up in value. It's scarce. You could hardly find the 9mm. You can find the 40. That's currently being produced by CZ, but you can't find the 9mm. Either which way, 9mm or 40, if you could find it, is right around $2,100. So there's a huge price difference. The value of this is far less than the current value of the TS2. I checked Cajun. I checked Midway. I checked Buds. Most are out of stock. And when you go to Gun Broker, it's very expensive, over two grand. So should I get this slide melt or should I make a trade with my buddy for the TS2. It would not be an even trade. We went back and forth. He's willing to work out a deal, but he wants the best deal for him, and I completely understand that. We talked about the Tanfolio Defiant Stock Master, making a trade for this, and I figured, you know, if I give that up, I may never get another one, and I love this handgun. I really love this handgun, so I had to take that one off the table. We played around and talked about the Breda 92X performance. And then I realized the exact same scenario. I, I have it now. I may not be able to get this again. This is raised in cost too. And it's, it's a phenomenal handgun. I think if I miss the Shadow 2 so much, I will be able to get this again at a better price than for what I traded it for. So here's the deal. We finally worked this out. We said that I would give up the Shadow 2. He would give up the... TS2, both in 9mm, all accessories and everything else, for an additional, on my end, $500. Now, let's take this for face value. If this is truly worth $1,100, plus the $500, I'm looking at $1,600. I can't touch a new TS2 orange for $1,600. I can't touch it. But do I need it? I don't need it. I've got other handguns that suit that need, but I want it. And that is really what, what drives my purchasing 
decisions. On top of that, the TS2, let me bring this back out, on the left side of the pistol, some have two bolts right here. That's the kind you would need to get a over the slide. So it's called a side mount for the red dot. So the red dot would go over the slide and it's, it's cool, it works fine. Those are approximately $100. If you can find those in stock, you go to the CZ Custom Shop, those aren't in stock. So if I get the Shadow 2, it could take a while before I even got that suited to where I wanted it to be. Over time, possibly, what's going on with CZ? Nobody knows. Why is everything out of stock? Why are so many firearms discontinued? Why is it so hard to get something that you want that was seemingly very popular, now near impossible, from CZ, a lot going on there. I'm telling telling you, a lot is going on there. But that doesn't take away from the fact that I want the TS2 orange. What would you do? Would you, would you make the trade for the Shadow 2, all accessories included, box, case, blah, 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 and get the TS2 nine millimeter for an additional 500 bucks, or shall I just get the slide uh, cut out for an optic, pay 400 bucks, and be done with it. I'm sort of leaning toward the trade, but I wanted to bring it here to get your thoughts. You can get a CZ Shadow 2 Compact. You could, shall I say, try to get that. I never had much interest in that until I felt it at TriggerCon when CZ was there, and I said, wow, I really like this. You can't even find them. Where are the CZs? Where is the custom shop? Where are the people that work there that was so excited to bring all the new and innovative stuff? It's hard to find. And then once you have something that's hard to find, you have scarcity. Once you have scarcity, you have price increases when they are available. This would be my one-way ticket to the TS2 because when I shot that single-action trigger, that broke right around three pounds. It was so sweet. 5.2 inch barrel. The Shadow 2 has a 4.9 inch barrel. The black and blue model is one of the, shall I say, baseline handguns in the Shadow 2 line. I like that gold, they call it the gold digger. That one's pretty sweet. But that's the dilemma I am in. What would you do is what I would really like to know. If you would stay happy with the Shadow 2, would you Pay the 500 and get the TS2 orange in 9mm? Or would you opt for something different if you're going to give up that sweet handgun an additional 500 bucks? I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And if the deal goes through, I'll be back to share that new handgun with you. If, if I decide to go a different way, then you probably won't hear from me about this again. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.